Hey everybody, how you doing? My name's Rob, this is Carla. We, uh, we both work for Ayota Illustration. I'm an illustrator. Check out links to my stuff below the video. Today we are here to talk about Justice League or Justice League of America and uh, our thoughts on the new movie coming out and, and uh, what we hope to see, things we like, things that we're not sure about. Hope you're doing well. Buckle in, here we go. <laughs> well, we just watched on Netflix uh, both cartoons, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, which I really enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed much more Justice League because it was the first time I saw it for me and I got really excited about all the all the plots. Like every, for me it was awesome because every episode was like a little movie because like, well not every episode, because they they divided it like uh, a story into episodes, right? Yeah, it was one one story per two episodes, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, but it, it had a, it's a wonderful cartoon, it really is, and, it, and like adults and kids can enjoy it. I think when something's really good, it, it just automatically has that appeal to both adults and children, um, and not everything does that, but Justice League did that beautifully with um, both the, the original JLA cartoon and then the continuation with the Unlimited series. Um, here's Carla liked it so much that come tax return time, <laughs> we got Yeah, I got this hot girl, Shayera. She was my favorite character. So uh, I really liked her personality. I really like how she had to uh, make really tough decisions. If you haven't seen it, just see it. But she's one of the most complex characters in the cartoon because she has to play uh, like this uh, double agent. And uh, she's also in trouble because she's in love with- uh, John Stewart. With John Stewart, with Green Lantern. Like what I really like about this cartoon was uh, how it uh, combined a lot of elements and that's what it appealed to me like uh, I've always liked cartoons uh, but it seemed like this cartoon is really deep like it has of course it has good vibes and bad guys but it also has alternate stories like Shayera falling in love with Green Lantern or there's even an episode which I love I think Robert you know, like it a lot but there's a whole episode dedicated to Christmas so <laughs> no bad guys no nothing and it was just like wow this is great and it show you like the human side of, of every character like uh, it show you Clark Kent go visit his oh, family with Martian Manhunter yeah, yeah he invited John Stewart and then it was showed it, he, well, Superman invited John Johns oh yeah John Johns John Johns yeah. to Christmas at the at the Kent's at the Kent farm. Yeah. That was cool. It was Shayera good. went to her, to her planet. Oh yeah, she went and, and partied with Jon Stewart. Yeah, party yeah. really hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like, that's what I really like about uh, this cartoon, that it has like, uh, like it has depth. It has also these different stories. All, all these different elements yeah. I paid attention to. Yeah, I, I agree. It's It's gotta be one of my favorite cartoons. Um, and that leads us to talking about the movie. There, a lot of the characters in the cartoon aren't going to be, at least in the initial Justice League movie, what we know about is they have uh, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, uh, Cyborg, and Flash yeah. are, the, are the characters in the movie. Cyborg wasn't in the cartoon. He's usually uh, with the, the Teen Titans when, he's, when he appears in the animated stuff, but now in the newer animated movies they have it's it's that exact lineup I believe uh, except Aquaman wasn't in the last one if in I remember the cartoon? Right. yeah in that last cartoon movie that came out mm. uh, Justice League versus Teen Titans oh yeah, yeah. I, I I loved that I thought it was great <laughs> she didn't like it as much but uh we we both loved Batman versus Superman um, we were both really excited for Justice League, the movie. Uh, I, I think they're still filming it right now. I don't know. I, I know it started a little while ago. I'm, 
uh, a little confused with the lineup. I'm I'm gonna really miss not seeing Hot Girl on the big screen. I know she's in the in the uh, I don't know she's in the live action thing. I, yeah. If it's on Flash or whatnot, I'm I'm not really into the CW stuff. Sorry, I know a lot of people love it. Um. But uh, and it's not gonna have Green Lantern at first. Yeah. Nor Martian Manhunter. Or Nor Martian Manhunter, unless, of course, Willem Dafoe turns out to be Martian Manhunter. That would be so cool because we both love Martian Manhunter. I love Martian Manhunter. He's just... It's really kind of hard to talk about the differences between him and Superman because they have so many similarities. But I think there, there's just a little bit more sadness... With Martian Manhunter, there's a little bit more... I don't know, he really is his own character, even though his, so much of his origin is, is relatable to Superman. Uh, and I would just love it if, if that was like a surprise they had for us for the Justice League movie. I would love Martian Man, and especially if Willem Dafoe played him. We know he's playing a good guy, but mm -hmm. uh, we, don't, we don't know who yet. Of course, it's Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Yeah, like, I, I love uh, Jason Momoa as in, in Game of Thrones, but I don't understand what's the deal with not following the, like, how the characters look in the comic books or in the cartoons. Like, Aquaman has always been blonde, you yeah. know? Like, that's the one that's thing, it's like... a little thing that you can do, it, you know? We already have brunettes, <laughs> and we got enough brunettes, don't we? Like, <laughs> like, uh, and, yeah, loved him in Game of Thrones. I totally happy with him being Aquaman, but is it that big of a deal to make him blonde? I mean, yeah. come on. I mean, I don't know. Is it really? I mean, couldn't they just CG that in there with the film? I don't or just know. dye his hair or just, blonde. Yeah, dye his hair blonde. I don't, I don't know what the... Yeah. I, I, I would like a little bit more fusion between what we know of... And I, like I said, we, we love the new story with uh, Batman versus Superman. I, I think some people didn't understand aspects of it because it was a different Superman and a different Batman than what we're used to. But I, I believe by the end of the film that Batman became the Batman that we that we know. I believe by the by the beginning of the next time we see Superman, it's gonna be a much more, my, my, my belief is it's gonna be a much more uh, faithful uh, interpretation to the character. I think what we've seen so far is baby steps getting to the characters that we know and uh, I, I love love seeing that journey so I, I hope that continues um, and the same is happen the same is happening with the flash uh, as Ezra Miller Ezra Miller is playing the flash. the flash and I uh, like the flash well in the cartoon I'm not, I'm not very sure of the comic books but first the flash is I read her like very flirty guy very outgoing especially flirty and like Ezra Miller has played uh, characters that don't reflect that that he's, he's usually shy I remember him most from Birds of Being a Wallflower where he played a, a gay guy who was uh, troubled so I may have like a previous judgment of him but still but like, it doesn't he doesn't seem like the flash you know from the, from yeah. the cartoon which um, yeah. Or maybe it would just maybe, have been easier for to put the the TV show Flash. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people think that the that they they love the the job that the TV show Flash guy has done. I. For me, every time I watch something on CW, there's a cheese factor that. I have a hard time with. <laughs> I and maybe but in that same note, I appreciate the darkness of the movies. Um, I think darkness is a real attractive quality to my fiction, and I, I like it. Uh, but at the same time, I, I kind of agree with aspects. Although I'm totally open to new interpretations, especially if they're done well and there's care put into them. But I, I do I do kind of wish there was an honoring of Bruce Timm and Paul Dini's uh, things that they added to the cartoon. And I, I wish there was just... Because, you know, and, and Snyder does honor the comics, and in, in ways, you know, and and you could even argue that he he honors the comics and that he doesn't want to just tell the same story from the comics, which is what Marvel pretty much does. They use the comics as a base, and I and I love Marvel and I love those comic books, um, 
but maybe like maybe he should just watch the watch <laughs> Justice League. Yeah, <laughs> like you and, should watch it too. Really. Yeah, it's great. It's on Netflix, and yeah. it's it's such a great show. Mm -hmm. Such a such a treat to watch it all the time. I I've seen them a couple times, but I didn't. I I don't. I discovered I hadn't seen every episode when I rewatched them with Carla, so that was really nice. Um, we've got great hopes for Justice League. I, th I think it's going to be great, no matter what. I'm totally excited to see those characters again. I love Cavill as Superman. I think he's a great Superman. And I'm, I, I think there's a sincerity that comes with his performance that I really appreciate. I, I, I also really appreciate that it, it, it does seem like more of a real-world take on Superman which does reflect a lot of the things that they've been doing with more of the modern comic books. I love that, and I love, uh, I love Affleck's angry Batman, but I'm also really curious to see how, uh, Affleck's Batman in, in the new movie to see if, if Superman had an effect on him that we believe he did. And Carla pointed it out to me, I thought, and I, I didn't realize it, but I was a little confused in Batman v Superman, spoiler alert, uh, where uh, at the end, Batman almost socks Lex Luthor in the face with his brand making uh, ring or whatever. Yeah, his, where he, mm -hmm. he can he he's he previously had branded criminals with a with a searing hot metal brand on his fist, and instead of hitting Luthor, he hit the wall next to him. And and Carla pointed out that that was a sign to us as the audience that Batman has begun this. Uh, change to a, a more the more um, nonviolent. I, mean, I, I would want to say nonviolent, but non-killing <laughs> Batman that we're that we're used to. Yeah, and, because that brand was supposed to be like for for men in prison to abuse that guy in particular. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, the, the 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 prisoners that were branded would be singled out and yeah. and, and killed and. Uh, I think I think the question of, of killing or not killing has really been taken seriously in Snyder's in Snyder's movies and and he's he's I think he's pushing the envelope and I, I think a lot of people aren't comfortable with that but I'm excited to see it like when in, in Man of Steel when he snaps Zod's neck oh, I that was such a powerful scene to me I loved it so much um, because I saw the pain in Superman's eyes after that happened you saw you saw the the meaning that life had for him by the pain it caused him in order to take it and I, I just really love that interpretation of Superman I think too many people have I'm, I'm sorry if I sound kind of fanboy uh, bitchy at the moment but I think too many people have a preconceived idea of what these characters are and aren't willing to let let them evolve for us and and to see other sides that we haven't seen before and I, I think that was some of the backlash but I'm just I'm just glad that movie got made and if things <laughs> are, are or both the movies got made I'm glad Man of Steel got made and VVS and and, it, Justice, and Justice League too and yeah. if Justice League changes because of some of the reactions to VVS that's fine um, and I'm curious to see those changes because I, I believe no matter what we're gonna get something quality because I think that the people involved in making these movies genuinely care about the projects. Um, Amy Adams as, as Lois Lane, who, who like sought out that, that part in different incarnations of Superman media before landing it for Man of Steel. Love that, how uh, the journey that Henry Cavell went on to become an actor and to get that part as Superman. Um, how Ben Affleck has always had an admiration for Batman and, uh, and uh, is really dedicated to that character these, these these things i think this is what uh separates dc from marvel in this way is that these these the people involved with these properties are given the opportunity because they sought it out now, i'm not saying that doesn't happen in marvel necessarily but marvel is like a big huge magnet now they can suck up like <laughs> as much star power <laughs> as, as it can and it's i think that they that they're going to be great i think they're going to do a great job but I don't think it's the stories that are necessarily bringing some of the actors to the parts in Marvel movies, such as it is happening with the DC. And I'm, I'm sure that it's different in different situations across the board, but that, that's one 
uh, general difference, generally speaking, uh, that I that I've seen, which gets me really excited about these these DC movies. And uh, so I, we hope Justice League is it's really cool. Like even though we have like these questions about the actors, like we know it's going to be really good. I, yeah, I think no matter what, there, there's things that we don't understand at this point. But it, it's going to be a quality movie, I'm, I'm betting, and I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Uh, let us know how you feel about Justice League. How are you preparing yourself? Are you watching the cartoon? Are you reading comic books? Yeah, so. and let us know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, look at the links below. You want to see artwork or links to the stores where we, where we sell it. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs> Take care.